A startup company with origins at the University of Minnesota has developed a process for making acrylics from renewable products like corn instead of petroleum. Acrylics can be used in a variety of products consumers use every day. So at Lockerel Technologies, we're focused on making acrylics and acrylates, and those are used in all sorts of products that people use, like paints and coatings, but also polymers like the materials in diapers that make them super absorbent. So they're everywhere around us in all sorts of hundreds of app uh, applications, and uh, you can just replace the bio-renewable ones for the ones that we get from petroleum. The industry has been looking for a bio-based uh, acrylic source uh, for at least the last 15 to 20 years. It's just that no one has come up with the reaction that you can accomplish at uh, right around cost parity to today's uh, petrochemicals. Company officials say there are several reasons that the corn-based process is an improvement over petroleum. Well, the reason we think we can make these types of products, the acrylates from corn, is that we think the process is more efficient and more cost-effective. So not only is it a domestic Minnesota-made product, but it's also something that can be made more cost-effectively. Lockerel Technologies may be a startup, but they have designs on a much bigger future. We're aiming at about a 30,000 metric ton uh, plant that converts lactic acid to acrylic acid. Uh, that goes along with scale of a lot of the other um, transformations that, that you would take to convert corn into lactic acid. That would look like about 2 million bushels of corn uh, per 30,000 metric tons of acrylics that were generated. And overall, we'll need at least uh, 100, uh, 120 of these plants in the United States, 250 uh, globally, uh, in order to achieve uh, today's uh, acrylics production. So that's quite a bit of corn up to uh, what we calculate is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 700 million bushels of uh, corn. Lockerel Technologies has already been recognized for their innovation, having been selected as a National Corn Growers Association Consider Corn Challenge winner. So with the Lockerel Technology there, uh, it can not only increase the corn grind, but it could uh, reduce greenhouse em emissions by 35%, and also um, it's better for the environment. So us at Minnesota Corn, is we're always looking for uh, ways that our products can uh, uh, improve the environment, and this fits that bill. This is Lynn Kettleson reporting.